Hello and welcome to a new Let's Plays series. In this series we are playing Stars version 2.6. Stars is a shareware 4X game that was released in, two, in 1996, so it's 20 years ago this game was released. It was a great game uh, when it was released and it's still a great game now. And uh, let's uh, let's dive in and, and 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 see how it plays. And I'll include links on how to get the game in the video description. And if you have any comments about uh, games like this that you would like to see me play, uh, please uh, leave a comment below. So let's start a new game. And uh, just in case you wonder, we are running um, Stars under DOSBox. Uh, it was designed for Windows 3.1 and uh, it does not work on the newer uh, Windows version uh, or 64-bit Windows uh, as is so we will go and um, and play it under DOSBox and I'll include um, the link to, for all that as well I will not um, customize the, the race, just play a standard difficulty, small universe, uh, everything uh, standard. Let's go ahead and start a new game. Okay, and when um, you come into the the game. This is the interface. Um, these various boxes can be drag and drops. It is quite amazing to see this kind of interface in a, a Windows game at the time. And actually, it's still quite amazing as far as interface uh, um, goes because you can get to everything you need um, and arrange it in a way that works for you. And uh, it was just great. So the, um, at the beginning of every game, all the messages are enabled, and you can see all the various different um, um, messages, and you can hide these messages if you don't need to. And there's a couple tips uh, out here, so I'll go ahead and disable these. Otherwise, you uh, see them again every turn. And here's our home planet. And first thing we need to do is take our scout and start scouting out um, the planets around us. So the way to do it is to hold down shift and start clicking on all these planets. Instead of uh, moving there, let's go home and I'll build another scout to uh, scout this this section. Let's go back to our planet and let's start building things. So the other things um, that's nice about this game is that you can have auto build. Um, you can build up to certain uh, amount of things every turn and then you can create templates for those and you can apply them to uh, your new colonies so things work really well. I can build up to five of these. Well I want to complete both these in one turn so I'll draw the auto to just two apiece and also and the scout Let's just go ahead and move it to the beginning of the queue okay so now every turn um, well the first turn we'll, we'll try to build a scout and then every turn we'll try to build a couple mines and a couple factories and that is um, almost 
everything we need to do in the first turn except for looking at research. So a couple things um, we um, can do um, and these research you can see the ones in green these are the ones that will be available in the very next uh, level and the blue ones are the ones that are available to, um, afterward so let's go ahead and research biotechnology because we'll get something immediately everything else require a um, some some a couple level of research and then what I like to do is just go to the next field to research is the lowest field so we'll go to whichever the lowest view is and research that. That way none of the views are lacking behind. Once we're done, let's go ahead and generate a new turn. We're hitting F9. So we built a new uh, long range scout. Let's go ahead and go to it. And let's go ahead and start at scouting this area. And we need to pay attention to the fuel usage because we do not want them to be stranded. But, uh, just, just think about a game in 1996 that has drag and drops and all that um, user interface. It's, it's just amazing and I will hide a uh, build a mine message as well uh, we found a planet that we can't colonize well we can't colonize you can always colonize um, a planet but your population will just slowly die off And let's generate a new turn, because that's all we can do this turn. And we found a planet that we can uh, can colonize. Now, there's a couple different mode here. So what I am uh, uh, displaying is the uh, planet value view. I believe the default is this view here, uh, the the normal view. So it this view show you um, uh, your colonized planet in green and everything else uh, that just dots. The views that I have here shows um, habitable planet in green, uh, marginal planet in yellow and undesired planet in red. So now that we have a planet that we can colonize, let's go ahead and pick up a colony ships that's already built for us and send it to colonize but first before you can colonize uh, a planet let's go ahead and um, load colonists let's load all the colonists now if you notice there's a diamond um, over here that I can right click and it has a whole bunch of uh, options here you can customize these these are the custom order and I already have one setup called load colonists and it does exactly this but you can always create your order here and then import it into your list so then you can send this guide out and I will uh, slow it down a little bit because the current estimate usage does not factor in the weight of the colonists I believe so if you, we do that uh, it might get out here and get stranded and becomes really slow or move very, very at warp 1 which is really really slow so when we go to April we want to colonize and it does tell you to remember the load colonists before um, which is really nice so let's go ahead and mute that as well. We don't need to. Let's go back to the planet. And now let's change this to see if we can uh, bump this up just a little bit. 
It's going to build up the tree mine and tree factory. So it tells us that we found a colonizable planet. Nothing else to do. Let's go ahead and um, generate a new turn. So our colony ship has been 2,500 colonists out of the 35,000 or however many it was. And then this is en route to um, this planet here. So now if you look at this, it will use a little bit more than half. I'm, I'm not sure if we leave it at warp 8 or complete or not. So now that we have um, another found another planet to colonize, 0.3%, which is quite terrible. But if you but if you look at it, um, there are these little terraforming bars here, and we can terraform this planet a little bit. So, even though the planet is not great now, its mineral concentration is pretty good. Uh, we, I would rather colonize it so that other the empires don't have that option too. So if we go to our planet. we can see so you can build a new colony ship let's build before everything else and we can so let's go ahead and do that we'll generate a new turn and we found another as well And we have colonized our first colony. So this planet here will be slightly better, so let's colonize that one first. So we built a new ship. Let's turn to transport, load all colonists, and then come here. and colonize. Now this um, next year we'll take a look to see how much fuel it used and we might have to adjust its speed. But for now uh, that's fine. Let's go back here and let's build another colony ship. Now we have 40,000 uh, population here. We also have a transport ship, ship, and this thing has a cargo capacity of 210 kiloton, which means it will be able to pick up 21,000 colonists. We probably don't want to do that quite yet. I would like to take a few turns for our home planet to grow before transporting. Um, transporting to um, this this planet here because otherwise we just take half the population of a home planet and delay its growth by, by that much so now if you go to April uh, its queue is um, it's empty it has no star base it doesn't have anything here so let's queue a few things it's always good to build a mine and a factory. And then skew a few of those up. And then we'll build automatically build one mine and one factory every turn. And we only contribute leftover resource to research. Otherwise, uh, a percentage of it will be taken out of this planet to build, um, to to 
um, to be sent to, to research and I have defined a template called new colony that does just that um, this one built just one mine and one factory I believe now after that uh, if there's leftover things I would like to build a new star base but not I don't want to build this uh, default star base here so let's go and design a new one let's go and design so our current design for Starbase, we have this starter Starbase here that has a bunch of weapons and shields and things. We can look at the available hull type, and we have this orbital, orbital fort uh, type here that we can copy and make it a let's call it starter fort. And I will not add anything to it. It was just a Orbital fort that can that allowed um, ships to dock. The reason for this is with our starbase, your ships cannot refuel. So if you have a uh, ships out out here, it won't refuel until the planet has a starbase on it. So if we change that, and we can try to build a starter fort after these things. Right now, say it takes 23 years. Um, the number would actually be different because we'll continue to take the resource of the mines and factories and it might actually uh, speed up that construction so, so that's the new planet we just found let's uh, go to the new turn so now the um, second colony ship is on its way now if you look at this you can see that this estimate fuel usage is higher than the fuel uh, that it has so because it estimate that usage based on the empty ship we need to adjust it a little bit otherwise it will run our fuel somewhere over here and then s slow down to a crawl we don't want that And then we build a new Santa Maria uh, colony surf ship. We'll do the same with transport. Load all colonies, colonists, all available. All 2,500 of them. And then we go over here and colonize. So we found another uninhabitable planet. And another. So here, now the um, production was, was snowball, and right now we can build of all for all three um, mines and factories uh, per turn, which is great. We should probably look at bumping that up. So the next ship has. Um, Lotus colonist and is on its way. Our planet has complete all its order. So let's go ahead and bump up some more mine and factory. And we colonize logic. Mine, factory, mine, factory, and let's just apply the new college template. This may take forever. And we get uh, additional research uh, by colonizing that planet. We also colonize Toll. The reason I do this instead of just do the auto build is because um, the auto build might not have things in the exact um, count that I would like. Now 
Now we also found two more. Barely habitable planet. And one really good one. So let's build three new uh, colonies, colony ships. One, two, three. And when we reach, let's say, 100,000, then we'll start uh, transporting colonists to the, the various different uh, new planets. So we build one Santa Maria. Let's go ahead and load some colonists. And then let's go ahead and go here and colonize that. Not much else to do, so we go ahead and generate a new turn. I'll actually go ahead and turn that off too. Let's go to the two new ships and let's go ahead and split them all into individual um, colony ships. This one, we we'll go ahead and load some colonists, and then go here and colonize. And then let's go to the other one. We'll also, go ahead and load some colonists, and then we'll go here and colonize. This fleet here does have enough fuel to uh, to get there, so that's great. Sorry, I was um, looking at the different um, thing. I did not select it as I thought I did. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn off the um, uninhabitable planet. The planet here has now um, built those two ships and has nothing else to do, so that's fine. And we have built, um, to colonize that planet, and we found another habitable planet. So let's go to uh, build another of these. So I don't need to know about the um, shipping dismantle. So we now colonize that planet. Let's build a mine, a factory, and mine, and a factory. Apply the new colony. And build a starter fort. We found that habitable planet and we are going to um, colonize it. Now, so far we have not focused on any kind of defense. Um, our home planet has a defensive um, starbase on it, so at the beginning is is okay, and we have some ships around it as well. Now that is um, insufficient when you actually run into another empire. So at some point we need to start building ships. So we need to build another colony ship. Let's go ahead and go to uh, our home planet. Let's build another colony ship. So we built those two ships rather quickly. 
split them to individual um, uh, sh one fl one ship's fleet. Load colonists here. Go here and colonize. Let's go to next one. Load some colonists. And then go here. Colonize. And now we'll dial this down to warp 6 instead of warp 7. Just because I don't think I'll be able to get there um, at warp 7. So we colonize draft. I'll apply this. the template okay and about 84,000 our population should go uh, pretty quick now so let's change this and let's bump up the number of mines and factories You can also shift click and control click to add multiple of uh, each item as well. So colonize this. So build a couple of the initial mine factory. And then apply the template. So build us our starter fort. This part of the game is pretty straightforward, and um, fairly easy because we are not dealing with any aliens, but we have found one here. So we found a, a scout from the Narnian. And we don't know much about it. so. Um, we don't actually know what this um, kind of weaponry it has. But what I'll do, I'll send my defender up here. So go to that. Send it up there. Take it four years ago. And when it gets there, it will be short on fuel. Um, and it won't be able to refuel until we have some sort of starbase up here. And we will also go and build another colony ship. And research will take a little while because I've been. Um, building a lot more than, than normal. Uh, maybe I should have spent some time in research instead of building more mines and factory. Okay, so we'll build a new Santa Maria. Let's go to that. Transport. Load colonists. Go up here and colonize. Oh, and we found a nice planet down here too. So let's build another colony ship. Now we have 120,000 people. Let's start uh, shipping some people uh, over. So let's take our Teamster and we'll transport colonists and we'll go to Zagwan and we'll drop 
everybody and we'll come back and no task here that's excellent so we finished researching uh, biotechnology and then they want to research um, energy so that let's see if we can do something let's research this so we can get some technology immediately and we get new armor and um, mine dispensers which is uh, allow us to build minefields let's go ahead and go to the next turn So I'll scout here. Let's go ahead and scout these two planets, and we found yet another um, habitable, habitable planet. So this is uh, Santa Maria transport. Los colonists. Go here. Drop down to warp six. Oh, nice. Oh, we forgot to um, uh, build anything here, so it reminds us, which is great. And applied our template. Same thing here, and there is a um, enemy fleet uh, uh, orbiting. Um, not sure that's something we need to worry about or not. But for now, let's just concentrate on doing this. That's where we're sending a ship. So here we will also add yet another colony ship. But we have run out of time. So let's call it an episode here. And uh, leave me a comment to, um, if you want to see this kind of content on the channel. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you and goodbye.